it, this began at the time when the selfie was the word of the year and you know all of our students were preferring to use phones as opposed to computers and so it, I, I really wanted to find a way to make the phone a meaningful tool in a classroom environment you know just because we grew up with language does that help us understand language I mean I think many people would say yes but just because you grew up with TV doesn't mean you know TV uh, but some people say yes, and so I'm really trying to dig into that question. What is it exactly that they know and what is it exactly that they don't know? Uh, one of the first things that we looked at was this, um, what I call the five shot movie. It was a very simple assignment and the students loved it. Uh, I got a range of things from people who had never used media before, but were becoming very proficient at it very quickly to people who were really, who had used media before and still couldn't figure out an interesting way to represent themselves. So it, it was still very telling and I was able to apply a sort of a, a grading rubric and an assessment strategy that made as much sense as when I'm reading an essay. I believe that, that digital tools are as vital as l basic literacy tools. Why, why do you think this makes you an interesting person, you know, and, and that sort of self-reflection is not embedded in, in much of the curriculum, in fact, in most curriculum. Um, but I think it's important to try to find a way to integrate, um, you know, it's, it's, you know, a basic principle of communication.